understanding that data that millions and millions and people of, of Africans were dying prematurely from chronic disease, it really, really angered me. And I was like, I can't, I, I can't do this. I have to do my part in changing this system for the continent. I am Neka Mobison. I am co-founder and CEO of MDoc. MDoc is headquartered in Lagos, Nigeria, and we provide virtual health coaching to people living with or at risk for chronic health needs, as well as regular health needs. When you think about chronic health needs, hypertension, cancer, diabetes, obesity, depression, anxiety, and then regular health needs like pregnancy. We leverage behavioral science, technology, data science, and quality improvement methodologies to really create an end-to-end -end integrated platform for self-care. Today we serve over 111,000 people across Nigeria and we're really demonstrating that leveraging telehealth and telehealth platforms you can, at scale, drive population health outcomes improvement. More than 28 million people across Sub-Saharan Africa have died prematurely from chronic disease. Uh, this is very personal for me because um, my father um, was a hardworking middle-class professor from Nigeria who just wanted two things in life. One, to transform the technology landscape of Nigeria and two, to spend more time with his family. But unfortunately, um, my father died um, from complications from a massive stroke that he had at the age of 52 largely because he didn't really have access to a medical team to support him in managing his uncontrolled high blood pressure. And the reality is that his problem is not at all unique. We've seen, and WHO um, highlights that over 20% of um, the over millions of people living with chronic disease like high blood pressure, diabetes, etc., will die prematurely. And the reality is that many of these chronic diseases or the complications from these chronic diseases are actually preventable um, by adopting healthy lifestyle modifications, really focusing on nutrition, on exercise, physical activity, um, on sleep, and on so many other elements around behavior change. And so at MDOC, we're really trying to address that problem, helping to um, support people in understanding what they need to do, nudging them on, on how to make those healthy habits and those adjustments, those incremental adjustments to their lives so that they're actually living those healthier, happier, and more fulfilled lives. Our vision, honestly, is to transform lives across the world now. Transform the lives of the vulnerable, transform the lives of the marginalized, transform the lives of the neglected, the people who have been left alone um, who have historically been failed by their systems, we believe that we can support them to take that control that they need, making those small adjustments to their behavior so that ultimately they are living those healthier, happier, and more fulfilled lives. And so they can be there, not just for themselves, but for, for their families, for their communities, and we'll see that impact for generations to come.